Good morning. It's February 2023. It's been a while. We're heading out to the zoo to see what's new, see what's changed. I'm full of the luck. And Gemma's full of the luck. <laughs> so we'll crack on and uh, come along and we'll see what's going on. There's a few new exciting things to spot. Yeah. Heading into some bright afternoon sun. The uh, queue for the members today was extensive. <laughs> Look, the Christmas bubble's still up. <laughs> Quite a busy. Uh, entrance today as well. Where are we going first, Jam? Uh, Madagascar. Madagascar first. Let's go uh, see what there is to see. Is it yeah, we also have a half one visit to the oak field today, so we'll try and stick over this side for the first bit and then maybe do islands in the afternoon. First of all, let's see if we can uh, see the rhino. We saw her well last time we came, we haven't seen her for a little, properly for a little while. We have been back to the zoo while we've not been vlogging, but we had a quiet couple of months, so we thought we'd get back a little. And then I get sick. And then Still Gemma got sick, off. yeah. So hopefully we'll be able to get around, but if Gemma's not feeling up to it, we may cut short. There's some spider monkeys enjoying some spring, well, winter sun. Of course, as we arrive at the rhino enclosure, Asha just goes inside. <laughs> Uh, reaching into enrichment things for food. Oh. Here they come. Just heading around the back of the uh, Dragons and Dage towards uh, Madagascar. There's a uh, little bit of construction going on around here because they're building the, the new event space, which will be like for weddings and things. And that's due to open later this year. But this is the way through to Madagascar at the minute. I think last week when we came, you could get out through the normal route. Quick checking on our fossil friends who are all currently relaxing in a tree. <laughs> They're growing faster. And over at the Safarka, we have rumours. We do have a Safarka here. We're not substantiating those rumours. Oh, hello, <laughs> we've made a friend. There is a tiny little bit of reflective metal on my phone and some of the animals do seem to react to it. I have to be careful because I don't want to stress them out or anything. I don't think it's too far before. Yeah, and this is the construction that was uh, changing the route of Madagascar. Not much though, because you can still get out here just fine. Unfortunately, uh, Dwarf Mongoose enclosure is now gone. Quite exciting to uh, have an explorer of that uh, square area if it becomes open to the public at any point, of course, because we aren't currently booked in for any events there. But we're going to go, because we're getting quite close to our lunch, we're going to go and check out Cheetah, Red Panda. We're not having the best views yet so far with animals, are we? Uh, we haven't really looked at many. True. It is that kind, sometimes it's like that, and then you see loads later in the day, so we'll see how yeah, we get especially on. Especially with like, the baby fossil, because they tend to have like. A massive one rather than a rest. Yeah. And we just caught them at the rest. So, so. True. Well, no cheetah. <laughs> we 
We do have a baby rooster in this enclosure now. Recently moved in. Yeah, there we are, certainly. Look how cute that way is. Extreme detail of the rear end of a baby rooster <laughs> as it walked away from us. You Let's take that. a different route to the red pandas today. Let's go through the gardens. And this leads out to here. I could hear squirrels in the trees behind me actually as well. And this is the gardens that we sometimes walk past that way and film. You can have a little bit of an explore. I can see a red panda in the tree. Let's go get closer and have a proper look. There we go. And all the ears. Nobody in the bird nursery today, apart from a sparrow or two. <laughs> they can just jump through the holes in the fence. Still signage up though. And this enclosure is now home to an Anoa. I think we did see it the other week. Yeah, it's up the back. <laughs> Typically, I went to zoom in and he's gone and hidden down the back, way down there somewhere. And this camera's more interested in the fence than the animals. Over at the Avery's and the uh, Lady Tragopans are looking well. And the chestnut back thrush just bounce across. There's actually two or three of them, they're over by the water. Red tailed laughing thrush, sorry. This guy's looking awesome, isn't he? Got the colours on the back of him. Ooh, we got the spot spotted laughing thrush here as well. There's actually a couple of them, but this one's in a nice spot for us to see. Looking right out of us, well. well, kind of right out of us. <laughs> and the uh, female Himalayan manal is over there. Looking really well uh, camouflaged. It took me a moment to find her. Back when we used to come to the zoo literally weekly, we used to know all the birds off by heart. We've kind of, uh, time's gone on, we've kind of forgotten some of them now. Some of them we'll never forget. And yeah, they've added new ones. Always makes it. I think when you remember, that's the kind of thing that's fun to come back and see all the different birds as well. You start to appreciate birds and plants as well more. And there's a new construction that's been added as part of the event space on the side of the uh, this courtyard here. This is where the old lion enclosure was. Now it's a little picnic area. And we're just waiting for our dinner, aren't we? We're all about 10 minutes, 20 minutes early. Dinner time. Our usual. Always have a nice Sunday roast dinner in here. And so they've changed the menu up in a bit, a bit in here now. It's two courses or three courses. So I had the soup starter and Gemma's got the brie. Looks really good. I decided for a change to have uh, fish and chips this time instead of the roast, but I'm a bit jealous actually because Gemma's roast turned up this week and it looks lovely. Enjoy, hon. <laughs> Dinner done. I ate far too much. Did you enjoy yours? <laughs> it was lovely. Gemma enjoyed a roast. I'd, I'd say I should have got a roast as well. I didn't particularly care for I the fish. It wasn't to my. Roast, that's what you said. Yeah, it is true. But anyway, we're going to jump back to Madagascar now quickly, see if we can see what we can see. And then we've got a few other bits we want to see before the end of the day. Well, it's difficult to see because of the lack of focus through the window here with this camera. This farka's got a youngster. We have our first farka baby. Which is something we wanted to see today, so I'm happy about that. Hello. 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 Hello.
Feeling lucky now, we've seen one zoo baby, let's go and see if we can find any others. <laughs> and a new zoo baby for us. A new zoo baby for us, yeah, that was a good one. We've seen one of them, the other ones before. So if we don't see it today, we'll tell you what it is at the end. And there is another youngster to join the zoo, that's Jeff the chimpanzee. And after Jeff back, all of the chimps have got, well, all of the chimps born here have got names after musicians. <laughs> We had to make a beeline down here to try and get those chimps in because literally the gates have just opened to the bed and area and they've all gone in because they know where to take themselves off the bed at night. <laughs> Checking off these animal babies off now, aren't we? <laughs> so we've got one more we can go and try and see that Which we're we aware of. See we just <laughs> yeah. And now uh, we'll see how we get on there. Heading over Cheetah Bridge. Where? Hang on. Heading over Painted Dog Bridge. <laughs> It's still cheated to the bridge to me. Yeah, there is a baby rooster. Oh, there's a pair of baby rooster over the back though. The zoo is doing well with baby rooster. So I think the last time we filmed, the uh, dogs weren't showing particularly well in this enclosure, but last week when we came, we stood and watched them for a good 15 minutes. And they were having a whale of a time in here. So hopefully today we might be able to see something. If that's not uh, foreshadowing them all being inside, I don't know what is. <laughs> no, me either. Well, <laughs> you'll have to take our word for it. You can see the well-tracked paths that have started to appear in this enclosure where, where they've been mooching about. But it looks like right now, they've all gone in. So we're going to continue our path over towards islands. Monorail spotters. I got you. There's still a bit of track there. There's still some there as well, just over the other side. But yeah, there's less and less. It feels like there's less and less every time we go. Down through the bushes there, the uh, Philippine spotted deer are there. The youngster, mum. Another guest just told us the male was here as well. There he is, the handsome fella. Get the best twigs right at the back. Quick check in on the capybaras as we come over. The youngsters are getting bigger now. We did just see the anteater, but I tried to film him and he immediately wandered off as usual. And uh, no surprises, but the uh, secret new animal that they were building an enclosure for has now opened. We got Tamandua. Let's see if we can see them. We got a lot of glow. Yeah. She's doing the other side. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's this back half. Can you see him? And you'll probably have to take my word for it on this one, but the other one is actually in this nest box here. You might just be able to see a bit of fur in the bottom left corner of the nest box there. I've got to be honest, I've kind of forgotten that the time and do were, were there and we hadn't put them in the videos yet, so, yeah. so that was a little bonus one. Well, we're heading to islands, but you can now start to see some of the construction work for the new African project that will be opening in a few years' time. Which is going to be over this part of the zoo and over towards the back over there if the plans stay too true to what they currently are. All being well, when that project is completed, we'll actually be able to stay the night. Occasionally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll start doing some saving for that one, I think. But as we come round the corner now, you'll see we have got a bit of a... We've kind of got, not really got much option in which way we approach islands at the minute, because like the entire point from here, all the way around to the Black Rhinos, this part of the zoo's now closed while they do the construction work. You go, come with us to the, the heart of Africa. We're creating a huge new savannah experience to help save species from Africa. So what that's going to mean is we're going to end up with giraffes over here and some other animals sharing an enclosure. You see already some of the old enclosures and buildings for the Sith's hunger have now come down. 
So we'll probably not be exhaustive on the updates of what's going on here, but we'll keep it up to date as we, as we see it. All the fences will come down as well, all the walls. Yeah, it's going to be quite different, I think. Exciting times for the zoo. Anyway, with that, we're going to head into Islands now. And uh, let's see if we can see another new arrival. Jammer. Because she just got here. All the squirrels are playing in this corner. <laughs> Heading into islands. I never thought this place would look just as good as it does in the summer, in the winter. The boat doesn't appear to be currently running though. And we got uh, the bubble tea stall as closed for the winter as well. Do you know what? I'd just like a cup of tea. <laughs> nice, nice cup of uh, Yorkshire. <laughs> we got a warty pig down there who was uh, just doing his business. Oh. Yeah. There's a Oh, right. Someone's grumbly. I've never heard a noise out of these before. Yeah, I've heard like pigs. Yeah, the snuffling noise, but not that. Not that. It sounds like he's running an auction. And that one's <laughs> in the background as well. <laughs> it's nice round here now though, isn't it? You get this is a good time to visit islands. It started to quieten off a little bit. Yeah. We're getting towards the last sort of three quarters of an hour of the zoo being open now. So the zoo does generally get really quiet towards the end of the day, which is nice. Especially on Sunday, because yeah. kids every time to take them home after lunch. Or on a weekday when it's schools. Are in. Yeah. Actually, weekday when it's schools are in and you're in sort of semi summer opening now is a pretty good when you get to around five. All the schools are finished for the day. Yeah, and the zoo's quite quiet, yeah. So after about half two, you get the place, not to yourself, but it's a nice quiet visit. And we got the tree kangaroo. Can't really see right now, but she actually has a joey at the minute. She's hiding it well though. No, but I'd like to see. She's a little bit sleepy now. No aviaries today because the, uh, there's still some reported cases of bird flu in the area so for precautionary reasons they don't allow us into the aviaries which I don't really mind too much, look after the animals, it's a priority. But we're just going to head over towards the tigers and have a look in there. One thing we haven't seen in our visits while we've not been on filming them is the van tank but they're back out and about. I think the last time we came there was a bit of ice on the water. I don't know if that was the reason maybe that they didn't have them out. Are they moving to go in? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> we got Dash out and about. Oh, the window would have been so bright. I don't, I think they all, they all keep on just going. Well, into Rong's Ant, uh, corporate into the flat out in the tunnel to the back of the enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> nice, we got one of the sunbirds out in the back.
Typically, we didn't catch it on this trip, but we do also have a young Malayan tapia. And there's one of them. No youngster. No, because that's thing, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's Batong, isn't it? Yes. Marjorie is the female yeah, and she'll have the youngster. Years, she? We kind of suspected we were that one was due because the pool in the indoor area had been emptied. Yeah, and sure enough, on our last visit, we saw them. The baby's we? called Nessa. Nessa, okay, lovely. No orangs today. No, it's late now, they're probably inside. Already. Okay, well, we'll head around. I'm not doing monsoon. No monsoon today, too warm. Far too warm. Change of plan, well, it's quite late. We're going to run through monsoon forest. Well, not run, we're going to walk it. <laughs> <up. laughs> we're going to sprint through monsoon forest. We'll have a sneaky trip. A lot of people come in here for the orangs, but I like the aquariums. Yeah, there's Janet Selvery Gibbons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the whole family's here. Orangutan's very much in a no photos mood today. <laughs> Gemma pointed out the tentacle snakes are looking good today. Spider warning, but we do have a Singapore blue tarantula. That's cool. That tarantula is next to one of my favourite things in here, which is the jeweled wasps that are so pretty. They're like like jewels. And now the orangs do like to show off in this window at the minute. One of the youngsters there. Is that was Helda? I think it's Helda. She's the youngest, isn't she? Uh, what is that? I like her. Gemma will go and find out. Subis and her youngster, so not Helda. Volunteer did say that was Hilda. Yeah, no, I thought it wasn't. It we're, not, we're not the best at identifying the ranks. We have some friends who are very good at it. Heading down here now, and on the left here, we saw this last time. There's a Titan Aurum. So, this could be interesting if this flowers at any point in the future. We can't make this place smell anywhere. Yeah, it smells of um, macaque. the macaque poo. Heading down the hill now, right to the bottom of the monsoon forest. Yeah, there's a... Oh, is that a oh, there's a log there, yeah. It looks like an eye. <laughs> yeah, we, we sometimes see the eyes of them just popping up here. Let's see if we can see them around the other side. This is the garials, by the way. That's not a garial. It's not a garial. are on this side. Normally. There's a tail, and there's a second tail just at the bottom of the corner. So they're right at the bottom. There's also a taller turtle over there as well. Oh, and the fish just swam over, that was pretty. Hundreds of fish. The doves up here are beautiful. The one on the left we've not really seen before, the yellow chested one. Cinnamon dove. And we got a crowned pigeon on a nest up there as well. Well, 
something approaching a nest. It's pretty much the norm for them, I think. A couple of rattle rails as well down here. Always popular. There was a, quite a few young in last time, so they'll probably be knocking around. Oh yeah, over there. Oh yeah. They were all on the path at the top when we came in last time, so we ended up having to give them space to get past. There you go, here's a youngster. Impact trap by mum. Mm. He's one of the males. Yeah. What a hoodie. We have another orango here. <laughs> Gonna mess with the wall. Leave a single rose at the pineapple whip stand <laughs> in the hope that it opens again in the summer. Well, the Tamandura is out as we uh, head towards the exit to distract us. We had a pretty good day today. We've seen pretty much everything that we wanted to see apart from the young Malay and Tapia. And I can see the time I do a climbing. Tame it with me. I'm going to tame it. Put your hands right up to the head. Like, cup your hands to the window because you can't see where It's on top. Can you see it climbing? Oh, there it is up there. Can't resist the sneaky look in the shop on the way out. See if there's any bargains to be had. We got some celebrate the new arrival of Jeff the chimp. And some new kids shirts that always look better than the adult stuff. <laughs> yeah, they have got some quite nice ones. I feel like he's been here as long as we have now, as members. <laughs> oh, and they've got the uh, new Chester Zoo beer here, but I didn't see this last time we were in here. They have a glass to go with it. Very nice. And there's some of the other adult shirts that we've, we've picked up. Gemma's got a couple of these already. They're doing an offer at the minute, two of them for 22. It's pretty good value, I think. Got the caps there as well. Came away empty handed today. I was tempted by that glass, but uh, I do have a cupboard full of glassware. It's getting to the point where it'll drag the cupboard off the wall if I buy any more. So I decided to resist that temptation, didn't I? <laughs> have a good day? Yeah, it's good. Favourite animal? Oh. Difficult today? Yeah. Yeah, the favourite today, to be fair. No, there's some good stuff in there. The youngsters, it was nice to see the young animals. The sparky yeah. youngster was very cute. Yeah, it's very cute jumping on one's head. Anyway, now that bus has gone, <laughs> we'll end this vlog. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Hopefully we'll be back again soon for uh, another one. Probably try and get one a month out, something like that, depending yeah. on what's going on at the zoo. And with us, I will see you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye.